I have a medical background, a medical doctor. I realized that there were more problems that the health system in my country had that I wouldn't be able to solve sitting within the four walls of a hospital practicing. I discovered the health policy plan and financing program and it was like, wow, this seems to have everything I was looking for. The MSc in Health Policy Planning Finance is a fairly unique master's degree in that it is a joint master's program between the London School of Economics and the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. And so students will be taking courses at both institutions, split 50-50, drawing on the skills and the teaching resources of both institutions. Both institutions are unique, both institutions are world leading. You have a degree from both, you have networks through both. When I read through the curriculum of the program, it seemed like I would gain a holistic perspective of policy making. The POTS that come after the implementation, but also the evaluation to see if it's effective, which is why I wanted to pursue it and not other programs. The Masters in Health Policy Planning and Financing offers the opportunity for people who know that they want to work in policy or health economics in the planning of health programs, study subject areas that sometimes you wouldn't be able to do in the same depth on a normal Masters of Public Health. As part of the course, students are required to do a dissertation, and most students do that in an area they already have an interest in, and it gives them the opportunity to do a kind of quite in-depth policy analysis about what's known about a certain area, and then do more research on that. I think once you've done that master's level study, you also become very attractive to potential employers out there. I think the program helps me to narrow down my interest in where in policy making I want to place myself. And I can say now it's definitely the research aspect. The MSc in Health Policy Planning and Finance would be for any students who are interested in understanding policy making for health from a nuanced position that is informed both by public health insights and social science insights, particularly in terms of policy making, economic aspects as well. There are different types of students, some that may have come to the course because they love the job already but they just want to move on and do different roles within their job so it enriches them and helps them to progress in their career. They may end up being more in management in terms of clinical practice or even in commissioning practice. There are other students who may want to make a career change and start working in international organisations. They might work with UNICEF or with WHO in strategic planning and some will come back into study later, do a PhD, take an academic route. We have students from all over the world, from low, middle and high income countries, who really see it as fitting a niche to help build their skills, a very pragmatic and applied set of skills to understand health policy making and health decision making. Beyond just reading about different health systems in class, I had my classmates talk about the health systems in their countries. So beyond just the academics of learning in class, I learned a lot from my classmates. Studying at the LSE and the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine exposed me to a future I never thought about before now. I just, I grew so much. Not only just in my knowledge, but it's also just in my confidence. I'm a bit sad and I can't believe that's already over. <laughs>